Hello, and welcome to new Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Major Minor. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, it's on Steam, for free. And on the last Let's Play... So... Kabu was killed by Riley. Riley was killed by... What's his name? Oh, by... The... The Lord guy. God, there's so many names here, I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, Lord uh, Player. And then... Oh yeah, I think uh, Riley also killed uh, Edmillion. Yeah, I forgot about that. Also, was somebody else killed? There was a lot of things that happened on the last Let's Play. Because, you know, a negotiation that Riley decided to turn to Stabby. So, yeah, at the end of that thing, uh, Nami and Nagi came in uh, and overpowered us and then stabbed us through the chest and the gear at the base of the sword started whirling because apparently we do have powers or something. And then we came back here. We had a bit of a flashback and we came back here where... Um, Acheron said that he pretty much won since he exposed his sister and then uh, as she's on the run he escorted everybody into a bunker so that everyone should be fine and he feels sorry about uh, you know using other people as not really bait but like being like hey we something needs to die to make her think she's in power and then um you know deal with her at which point um he also told us his life story that um his parents were killed in a chemical accident chemical weapons accident and then his older sister uh was blown up by a crazy guy whose son i guess also died in that instant and uh yeah he hopes to bring her back i'm not sure why it doesn't include the parents anyways as i look as soon as I exit, I look around. It doesn't look or smell any better out here. Of course, Akron wouldn't tell us where we were. It was probably for the best anyway. Who knew how Max could be trying to track us? I turn a few corners before running into Rook. Hey there, Dark. I'm glad to see you up in a boot. Did Akron give you one hell of a speech? I have to say, I was definitely skeptical, but it it turns out he knows what he's doing. I knew Singe was acting a little odd lately. Oh yeah, Singe was in on the whole Max thing. in superpowers. But I didn't know he was planning this. An international sting operation? Well, it's good to know when Mac, that Max was caught. But I didn't know how involved Singe was. I mean, he was playing us all along. Long? Man, there w was going to be a tour. Was there ever going to be a tour? Or was the whole thing just a front? It worked for him, and I don't even know how. I knew it was Max all along, you know. <laughs> but she threatened all of your lives. I mean, you knew at some point, but then, you know, you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell anyone else, or boom. Akron's story got a little bizarre. No one else believed it but me. I got to see Max's power firsthand. I'd never seen anyone move like that. A normal go girl could never take me down. Plus, she knew things uh, she just couldn't. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. She could disappear as she saw, saw fit. She jumped around like crazy. <laughs> Are you gonna say she went super sane? That just overpowered you? She had she had to have been spying on all of us. She pried on her weaknesses. I'd never seen anybody do that before. Wow, Akron must have told them a lot. But it makes sense that the others wouldn't believe it. The assumption that someone can control time is crazy. Enough to simply laugh away, useless, unless you experienced it. And I heard that Max was on was on 
what Max said on the speaker. Something about you saving the world? Or did she say worlds? I can't remember. I just know that this is above me. I'm not going to get involved. It's not, I'm, it's above my pay grade. Max just picked me because of our bond. Hmm? Whatever else you have to do, wait, whatever else you have to do, I don't think it's of any of my business. Oh, wait, you mean of your bond and mine, Mr. Negative One? I'll just wait here until we can leave. That's probably for the best. I wonder how long we've been he we'd be here, though. Rook seems to be taking this all in his stride. Well, you kind of saved my life. I be I'll believe anything you say after that. The previous evidence just helps support it. You give me no reason to doubt you. If Akron was lying, you'd tell me. But so far, both stories seem to line up. Anyway, I don't I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure you need to make the rounds. Everyone should know that you're okay. Your bond with Rook, Rook was wait. Your bond with Rook was strong enough. We're we're at negative one. Did 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 it increase since we saved his life? I I mean, what? Okay, sure. Although I have to ask you one thing. I heard Akron say something interesting. Not that I was not spying on you or anything. Sand travels down here, you know. I can even hear Shock talking from here. I can't. Nice save, though. He said something that's intriguing to me. That's intriguing me. He mentioned bringing people back. Something about his dead sister. He's a very serious guy, isn't he? He wouldn't make something up like that. Is it really... Is there really a way to bring people back? I don't need to know any specifics. But he'd hardly pull that out of thin air. It's true. Akron was very a serious guy. I tell Rook that it seems like a possibility. A lot of things were still up in the air. But there were people I wanted to bring back too. So let me guess. He had like a family member or friend or something died and then he coded the personality into that pad or something. So there's a chance it's possible. I wasn't just hearing things then. Can you promise something dark? Please bring back Keela. Huh, okay. Even if there's just a tiny chance. I can't live knowing that it was at his expense. Okay, fair enough, survival skills and stuff. I feel like a monument to his death. I can't just walk around, acting cool. It's eating way at me from the inside. You have to bring him back, Dark. He didn't deserve to die for no reason. We all deserve better than that, you know? I'm gonna remain silent. I mean, I'll try. Or at least try to convince the other. I mean, they said that he could bring him back, though I wonder if it's a thing where it's like, well, no, hmm. I was gonna say that if the gear guys kill them, then they couldn't bring him back, but then it's like, well, the, um, Rio, you know, the guy in the, the arc said that he kills people all the time, so, you know. So bring him back. Of course I'd bring Kila back. It was one of the first things I'd do. But there are lots of unknown variables at play. But he has my word. If it's possible, I'll do it. Thank you so much. I know it seems really far-fetched. Also, what was that beep anyways? In fact, this whole situation does. But maybe that's why I believe it so easily. There's a chance for us to correct mistakes. Anybody would suspend disbelief, uh, suspend belief for that. But if you can't bring him back, maybe I can do it. Like last time. What do you mean by that? He rubs his arm nervously and grips his tablet. It doesn't work here. There's no reception at all. It's useless as a brick. He waves his tablet around frantically. I can't even begin to imagine how he's feeling. He's addicted to that thing, but it won't really work. You have to be going through some sort of withdrawal. 
Makes you cringe just thinking about it. It's true. Nix was right all along. I waste too much time on this thing. I didn't think it was really harmful. But just look what happened. I was clearly lying to myself. But who knows how long we'll be here. And I won't be able to use it like I want. So I have no idea what to feel right now. Everybody's always telling me to stop. They say, what's so important on there? But I never tell anyone I hit it. Max was the one was one of the first to find out. And look what she did because of it. Strapped me to a bomb. My, made my past bite me. But I realized the, the truth that day. One second. My nose. A lot of things just suddenly became clear. Facing death can do that to you. They didn't ask because they wanted to know. They asked because they were concerned. What's more important than them? Why did I neglect them for my tablet? Max said, You don't think I was a freak. That it, that just scared me even more. But I realized something. I have to. This tablet doesn't just affect me. It affects everyone around me. I can hurt them more than it can hurt me. Then it can hurt me. Murders and bombs are extreme, of course. But these are just physical ways to hurt. I fear most of the damage was emotional. I started owning up to it, though. I made some real progress with Eclair. I'm even tempted to go back to the cafe chat. But that's the sad thing about this. I was missing out on all that stuff. Could have experienced it years ago. If only I handled my grief a little better. I mean, look at Singe. Barely affected. I wish I could be as calm as he always is. In shock? Well, bad example, but you get it. I didn't handle mine like a rational guy. I'm starting to wonder what he's talking about. Not sure how grief was related to tab tablet use. I decided that's a good question to continue with. Well, that's the thing. I never really told anybody before. Max only knew because she was spying. I feel like I can trust you with this. It's not like any more damage could be done. We're in too deep, if you ask me. So, I guess I can tell you a little bit. But let's not make a big deal out of this. I'm not pouring my heart out or anything. Let's call it Fun Facts with Rook. No judging, no laughing, just learning. Okay, but I have to l laugh at the story. Or, you know, make a small smile. You make me feel better that way. It sounds like something Rook would do. He, would, he has a way of dancing around important topics. But I guess nobody likes to confront their flaws. I'm still a little hesitant. But I need to prove Max wrong, you know? I really don't think I'm a freak. But there's only one way to find out. I start opening up to people. I have to start branching out. It'll be a useful thing to do. That is, if we ever get out of here. I shrug, but he definitely has a point. This might be a place to pawn new beginnings. We would think of ways to make our lives better. Well, I don't even know where to start. Let's go right to the beginning. When I was younger, I had a sort of mentor. When I was... I was born to be a business businessman, he'd say. I held a gift when it came to that stuff. I was good at organizing and managing, but I wasn't great with people. It was the one thing I needed to work on. He helped me break out of my shell, though. He taught me how to interact with people. I was never really good at social cues. But soon enough, I was socially adept. I don't mean to brag or anything. But I'm good at whatever I set out to do. At that point, I was as good at everything. Business management and PR. Not to mention my knack for technology. I'm going to make a long story short here. I left America and came to Japan. It wasn't too hard to learn the language. That's how I ended up at Cafe Chat. I know. It's stupid. Me at a maid cafe. But you know all about my that endeavor. Akihabara had everything I wanted. People, technology, opportunity. I used my skills to find happiness. But to be honest, I was a little lonely. My mentor refused to leave America behind. We would only talk to each other online. 
I never meet him face to face again. To me, he just lived on my tablet. But it was better than nothing, right? I had popularity. I ran a maid cafe. He was more proud of me than anything. He really considered me one of his sons. I accomplished everything he dreamed of. There's no better feeling than that. For a time, everything was perfect. We all, but we all know what that means, right? Tragedy is always sneaking up on us. It was a freak accident that took his life. Something went wrong at an investor meeting. Wait, is this the chemical thing? It took a while before the news hit me. He lost his life at an investor's meeting? Could that be related to Ac what Akron told me? I started to think he was ignoring me. Because to me, he just stopped responding. But I was shocked when the truth found me. I'm not proud of what happened next. My ability to perform at the cafe suffered. Eventually, I didn't even want to go. But how could I... How could it go on without me? The truth is, it couldn't. But for some reason, I didn't care. I hid in my house and shut out the world. That's when my tablet use started. I knew a lot about technology. I was a genius when it came to that stuff. So I put together all of my skills and... He grips his tablet even tighter, sniffing softly. I thought I could bring him back. I don't mean for real, of course. The chatting online wasn't real either. I decided my time to... I dedicate my time to making a program. So I was right. Something to keep me company, you know? Something that would let me live on. I didn't leave the house for months. I ordered all of my food online. This is more important to me than anything. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? He helped me break out of my shell. And then he put me right back in it. Well, you did yourself, kind of. It was such a simple program at first. It would understand small phrases. And it could give out automated responses. But that's all I really needed. It wasn't much different from before. And this time, he'd never stop responding. Gosh, I must sound insane right now. As he talked, he learned more and more. But like before, he taught me too. All the information took up tons of data, so I had to store them on the cloud. I'm guessing that's why it didn't work now. But there you have it. Feel free, feel free to judge. I win my friend back. It's pathetic. But there's one thing you just can't deny. He helped me, like he did before. We kept talking, and I got stronger. Eventually, I could leave the house again. But then, Cafe Chat was screwed. It seemed like they were about to close, so I really only had one choice. I saw employment immediately. That's when Singe hired me to work for him. A smart lackey. I was just what he needed. The salary is good, but not good enough. It would take years to save Cafe Chat, so I begged him for a lump sum payment. I might have pulled some strings, you know, threatened him a little, but he really, but he really did need all of my skills. Eventually, he caved, and he gave me a check. I cashed it and instantly wrote a new one. I gave it to Eclair and Cafe Chat. I saved the business from bankruptcy, but it's the least I could have done. I put them there in the first place. And that's it, really. We're here today, talking. I've come to terms with my, my mistakes. I st I'd still talk to him all the time. He'd give me advice on what to say or do. But now, I think I need to do that myself. I need to face my problems head on. I can't just hide on my own f in my own fantasy. So that's what I'll do if we get out. That, and mend things with Eclair. I need to make up for what I've done. There's so much time, lost time to recover. It gives me a soft smile before turning away. This is where things get awkward, right? There's a silence. You're speechless. Don't worry, I'll save you the trouble. But if I can ask you for one more favor, let's try building it, bringing him back for real. That is, if the power exists. There's so much more I need to tell him. So much more 
for him to be proud about. And I'll work with you to make it happen. You're talking about your mentor now? He walks away without another word. Well, I guess that solved the mystery of his tablet. I'm unsure of what to make of the story. It's quite deep. It wasn't the best thing for him to do, of course. But all things considered, it ended up quite well. Cafe Chat was back in business, and he got a new job. He's able to break out from that shell once again. I remember all the time I spent with him. Sure. I recall every moment he typed away on his tablet. <clears throat> all those situations were given a new meaning to me. I'd likely never look at him the same way again. But this was just the beginning. I had to let everyone know that I was okay. With that, I walked farther down the tunnel. Mine wonders who I might run into next. That took quite a while. Wait, we got on true ending? When did that happen? You think I'd have to pick something for that? As I walk deeper in the bunker, I'm more confused. I've never seen such a place like this in my life. Were we even in Japan right now? Of course, I'd never know, so I'll keep on walking. After a few moments, I noticed shock by the a door. He's chugging a can of Popstar, and looks fatigued. What are you looking at? You should be holding hands with that Acheron. The rest of us here have real problems. Clearly a jab at Acheron's earlier explanation. He finishes the rest of the can and throws it aside. He stares at me expectantly, like I'm here for a reason. Something I can help you with? Or is there, or are you just here to enjoy the view? Oh, he has those lightning stripes on his ears. Okay, shock. Now I get it. I laugh slightly and tell him that's not the case. I was just walking around seeing what I could find. I had to let people know that I was okay after all. Well, keep on walking. You might find someone who cares. I'm not moving until we can leave. Was he always like this? Or was it just the stress? I don't know whether to snap back or to take it easy. He did just just lose two of his closest friends. But that's not reason enough to act like this. He grabs another can and starts chugging it down. He stares at me, wondering why I'm still here. What? Do you want a drink or something? Haven't you had enough of these things? Actually, I, I, I'm kind of jonesing, man. Too much caffeine is bad for the heart. Wait, really? Hmm. Takes another huge chug. If you have one, that is, run along now. I don't feel like wasting time. I need to chug these things. Apparently, someone else is having a rock star contest, and I need to join that, or win it. I heard Anumi likes company of children. <laughs> I quickly walk out before I snap back at him. He must be in the anger stage of grief, again. Eh, or he's just an all-around jerk. I barely even talked to him, so I'd never know. Your bond was not strong enough. After a few more moments, I turned down a long corridor. Shock seemed intense, and I'm glad to be free of it. Perhaps the next person I saw would be more inviting. I guess if I have, like, I get those things if my bonds are strong enough, but then what about Acheron? We had a strong enough bond. We had like three of them. Looks like it. Mm, uh, I mean, it's four. It's twenty-four. So I think that might be a good time to call it. You no, know, because uh, the next sequence could be very short, or it can be very long. So I'm gonna chug this tea here. So, end of this, let's play. So, comment, because I like comments. Don't you like, dislike, tips, or so always. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos that have grown. Please remember to spend your ammo to help control the pit population. And until next time, let's say, you move six of Major Minor. I kept on thinking, like, Dawn Course, no. When's it change? No again. Major Minor. Thanks and see ya.